Welcome to a new series um, within Crusader Kings 3, A Game of Thrones. We are going to be starting a second series in tandem with our Wild League series. So that'll still be going on. Don't worry about that. Uh, I just wanted to start a different one. On the other end of Westeros, we're actually going to be starting in Dorne. Um, I created a character. His name is Cirrus. Um, Emerald is his family name. No stone left unturned. Uh, I like to picture them as Emerald Miners down here in Dorne. He's pretty young. He's pretty um, good at fighting. I'll show you his stats when we get in there. But we're going to start down here as a vassal to Doran of Dorn. And we're going to see, you know, where we end up, how things go. Um, I don't know where this series will take us. I don't know what goal I'm trying to fulfill. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we take on the whole of the Seven Kingdoms with this one, uh, considering with the Wildling campaign, we're going to take this and the North. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get into it, see what's going on. Right, we need a new save. We're going to save it as Emerald. A dynasty is born. So here's our maester asking us if he will, can do our... Um, I was a soldier, my deeds on the field, earned my title. So we did do that with Masic. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, I like that. We are on the sea, so let's do that. Uh, let's do a lass who was a close friend. Last time our best friend died, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. Um, so begins the birth of my house. Okay, so we got a bit to do here, and things are going to be different in this campaign, obviously, because now we have rules to follow. Um... What is this? Okay, so we get to choose our patron aspect. We are a Faith of the Seven. Um, so, where do we pick our aspects? There we go. We could do the Father. Gives us plus one diplomacy. So, we are going to go... No Marshall one? It's kind of interesting. Learning plus one. Stewardship. And then our Republic vassals. Opinions are plus five. Hmm. The mother gives us higher fertility. I would love to spread our children out amongst... Uh, the land and kind of see if we can't get you know things through marriage rolling i don't know what to pick here i'm not gonna do stewardship but i like the idea of having you know how do we have nine holdings right now holy um Let's do the warrior, I guess. We're going to pick the warrior. Hold a grand tourney. Send for a maester. Okay, our lifestyle. We're going to go with Marshall. Um, I think we're going to do a chivalry focus this time. We're going to make ourselves... A warrior to rival even the Red Viper. Here's our stats if you wanted to see those. We're not really particularly good at anything besides Marshall. Um, we're skilled tactician. We're a holy warrior, apparently. And he also has the intelligent trait. He's honorable, of course, but he's also a little arrogant, you know? Of course he likes to get into some rumbles. He likes to do things... On the bad side. Uh, let's find someone to marry. Let's see what alliance power we got going. Okay, we have the Brackens. They're pretty strong. How strong are we? 
not strong. For this many holdings, we're pretty weak. That's kind of scary, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, she's 22. She's sadistic, solitary, and authoritative. But that's a huge alliance. How old is... He's only 27. Is this like his sister? Yes. I mean, that seems good. That is... Oh, we also have... Oh, she's older. Ooh. Malaysia is robust with a 4,000 alliance. Honest and solitary. We also have a pretty one. Lord Walder. Lord Walder Frey. It's a Frey. Yeah, you wouldn't see this very much with them, but she is only two years old, so it'd take a while to get things rolling. I think we go with this uh, because both our traits are really good. Our kids could end up. Um, yeah, it's it's just a perfect, perfect marriage for us. Let's hire a maester. We have to send in for a maester. Send for a maester. Um, I don't think we hold that yet. We're not endorsed by our septin. That's rude. Um, okay. Let's see if we got anyone better. We do. We have a 17 here. Anyone better at Diplomacy? Yes. Cleaning house. Okay, this guy is the best we got as far as that goes. Another one. Oh. And then we'll see where he's at when we start. Okay, and we need to... How do we already have vassals? What in the... I own nine things, but I have this many vassals. Are they like city vassals? Is that what's going on here? Vassal of the Pale Sands. Oh, maybe when I start the game. Let's see. Does it go down? Oh, yeah, and we're a lot stronger than we actually were. Okay, okay. Sometimes you just gotta start it up and let it go. Um, we're betrothed. A veil made by the name of Dennis. Let us hope he will be loyal and wise. Mm, he's pretty good. Whoa, he's a torturer. Bold antagonist. Okay. You got it, friend. No, we still are holding um, a lot of domains. Okay, so what do we want to get rid of? Where is, obviously... Oh... Okay, so I want the counties that have the most control, so I'm not going to give up, you know. Obviously, this is probably, yeah, the capital. The Lordship of Sandstone. Arnite Hall. So this is just a castle, but I mean, this is a huge... Um, detriment to us. So we'll grant this to. Um, why not our admiral? 
Do, do, do. Why did he go away? Oh, maybe if you put him in a castle. I don't know. Let's continue. We got way too many domains here. What what were they thinking? Um, I would like to keep the four. So we're gonna keep the four and the six. What is this? This is also four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another castle. Grant to just a person. Um, but I just granted that. Grant this to Dornish. Grant this to a noble Dornish. What in the world? I mean, he still's pretty good at that. Not sure what's happening. Why are people are leaving randomly? I could be just doing something wrong, but I think we're fine. Ooh, don't get rid of that. Um. So if I give this to my Castellan, is he gonna be gone now? I don't know. I don't want anyone to leave that I have right now. One more. Okay. And of course, for some reason. Okay. So we need our Septon to end up liking us, so we might just start swaying him. Let's see what's going on as far as vassals liking us. Yeah, I swear. That was strange, because look, we don't have as many vassals now. I don't know. I don't know. Do we want to pass this already? Probably. Okay. All right. I think we're set up. I think we're ready to go. Um, we can declare war on Lord Talbert. Who's he? He's over here. I think, of course, we gain some renown here in Dorne. Uh, it's our first order of business. Who? Oh, everyone's kind of strong, though. Maybe we don't fight our brethren. You know, I'd love to take over Dorne as my... Well, we could come down here. Um, take a few areas. We'll see. We will see. Let's just start it up. Well, I don't know. Do we already start going after them? And that's what this is all about, isn't it? Or do we push into I mean, the reaches? The reach. The high towers. Also, we're playing in the uh, Game of Thrones timeline. The uh, Song of Ice and Fire. Um, so Robert's already on the throne. Um, here in. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. I think... Uh, I guess it is... I mean... I guess it makes sense for us to 
take over Dorn, or at least as much of it as we can. Start fabricating a claim here. That seems like the best move for us. Now we can go raiding, I think. Maybe we can't be raiders. No, we can't. So we're going to be chilling for a bit. We're going to be mad chilling. That's fine. Um, maybe we will hold a grand tourney. Greetings, my vassal. I would like for your courtier, Bedwick Wells, to become the squire of Manfrey. Uh, the most skillful knight. Oh. So he wants our courtier, Bedwick, to become a squire. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Why not? Why not? Um, I did want to see... So here's Prince Doran. Uh, where is... Yes, there he is. Oberyn the Red Viper. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Um, formidable fighter, handsome, knight, athletic, eager reveler, legendary blade master, and elusive shadow. Ooh. Man, those are some incredible traits. Imagine we could get him somehow as a courier or a knight in our realm. That would go hard. Absolutely bustingly hard. Uh, there's not much we can do. I mean, how long is this claim going to take? A bit. My skilled chancellor. My chancellor, Maester Mile, has proven himself highly capable, especially in matters of diplomatic nature. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the Lordship of Sandstone, my liege, with your blessing, of course. So he gets, we get encourage improvement, which helps development. Um, he gains 20 opinion of us. We lose a little prestige. That seems good. That's right. We can start, um, whoops, wrong area. We can start constructing our buildings, you know, getting ourselves um, some more money. Caster lands. And then where is our other domain? The Dust Bowl Keep. Oh, we don't have enough money at the moment. Let's see if we got any. Ooh, I forgot we do need to probably get some more knights. We have a lot of vassals. Spymaster forbid. Recruit to court. Yes, I know that we just lost money, but it's fine. Because we're going to forbid all our people from fighting. We have quite a few men at arms as well. This is nice. Oh, yeah, I was going to see if we had any decisions. We're not going to... We could <laughs> request a loan. I don't think I want to do that yet. Um, no, it looks like at the moment we can't. We're just... We're just going to wait and chill. We're hereby invited to Grand Tourney. We'll gladly accept. For glory! And we lost. <laughs> I was defeated in the preliminary rounds. That's so sad. Our prowess is pretty good. I don't understand how... You know, we're a skilled tactician. We have 22 prowess. Like, how are we losing in the preliminaries? It's just not fair. Okay, we're swaying our... Septon. 
Give us the more money. Powerful vassals. You know, I got 50 vassals, so... Um, why aren't you in here? Well, we'll keep an eye on them. Make sure nothing's going down. Stink water. That sounds like a great place to take over. Russell a Hedge Nine has arrived at my core. He's requested permission to rest at my keep for a short while before he resumes his travels. In return, he has offered me his service for the duration of his stay. An extra pair of hands would surely be useful. The Hedge Knight will have no traits. As the event progresses, they will gain traits. Sure, we'll try it out. Russell was working in the courtyard, but his progress was going slowly. All of the children in my household buzzed about him like flies, pestering him with questions about life on the road. He did his best to strike a balance between his work and keeping the children entertained. So what is he going to get? We're just coming home from the tourney. Uh, Russell has spent the day training in the courtyard, sparring with a few household guards. So he has 33% chance to get skilled fighter, or blade master, trained fighter, or skilled fighter. Okay, cool. This is kind of sick. Russell and Lord Lyra, Lyron have spent the day in the deep conversation with one another, discussing the finer points of strategy and analyzing historical battles. Seems Russell is quite the tactician. What is that? Uh, is he dead? <laughs> what the? He died in an accident. Um... I don't think Russell's alive, game. Uh, my name is Doran, my fool. <laughs> my name is Doran, my lord. I've come before you to offer my wisdom. My knight, Eric, who brought the man before me, looks skeptical. He approached the castle riding a donkey, my lord, backwards. Um, We can gain useful insights. Gain 20 opinion. Lose 10 opinion. And this is one of our vassals, correct? Or no? Uh, wait, why do we care about Doran? We are honorable, so... I don't think I would parade him around as a fool. But 75 prestige, I mean, I don't care who Doran Ramadan is. He's not anyone particularly important, I wouldn't think. Still fabricating that bad boy, huh? Sandstorm damages orchards. My steward has sent me a report detailing how severe sandstorm has damaged some orchards and groves in my domain. According to the report, it will take a few months, perhaps even the rest of the year, to cull the damaged plants and repair the damage to the canals. Oh, that's terrible. Why would we... Five months compared to 11 months. Oh, how bad is that? Really bad. We're going to have to go with the lesser. Invest in ourselves. You know? Do, 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 do. Need the old stink water. Scorpion for sale. Tastes like chicken. Gain 35. Lose 5 stress. How kind. I'm not trying that. 
we get the trait paranoid. Mm. Offers me a small specimen to sample. What if it's poison? Ah, eh, we'll risk it. <laughs> Probably dumb, but it is what it is. How old is she now? 14. We do need an heir. It is going to be scary going to war without one. Um, I do want to do some scheming, obviously. We are in the Seven Kingdoms now. But I have no one to really scheme against at the moment. Trayman has come to my keep seeking a place to stay for a short while before resuming his journey to the court of the Lord he will be serving. Sure. Why not? Welcome to Sandstone. Oh. Cool. What? Trayman has come before me and somewhat perfunction perfunctorily thanked me for my hospitality. He complimented me on my insights into scholarly matters, though his tone would suggest he thought little of my intellect. What a douchebag. Absolute troll. Who lives out here in this little island? Paxter of the Arbor. He's pretty strong, though. Isn't he? Okay, we'll try it again. We're probably gonna lose again. Martial lifestyle, romance scheme power, captain effectiveness. That is really big, by the way. Oh my gosh. We're just not good enough. I don't know what to say. Cirrus Emerald. Okay, our pastures are completed. We should be making even more money now. I wanted to see what we could get at the Dust Bowl. Mm -hmm. That seems like such a tiny amount. Just a point one. That is not great. Helpful warning. I've received a missive from Lord Franklin, the Prince's Pass. Claims that Lord Jorth, my admiral, has requested support in a plot against me. There's nothing I value more than loyalty, Franklin's letter reads. Hence, why I share this with you. Thankfully, my friend Cedra is there to advise me. I, would, I think that they meant to put advise me, but that's fine. I've had my suspicions about Jorah for some time. This all but confirms them. Um. In protected vassal honor. Do we know? So we know. We do gain a weak hook on him. Um, he is treacherous zealot. He probably is. We have to spend three fifty to publicly accuse him. Let's just get a weak hook on him. Um, an insulting accusation. When I present Lord Franklin's letter to Lord Jorth, it is met with confusion than anger. You believe his word over mine? Have I not always been a loyal servant? His indignation plants a seed of doubt in my mind. Perhaps I acted too quickly. I should make amends before I ruin this relationship any further. Oh, nice. Cedra got my back. Is she my... Who is she? I don't know who she is to me. Oh, well. We'll be going to war soon. Should be interesting. We're such a small piece of nothing.
Got allies forming. But no one formed an ally with stink water, because who would? Present my claim. Huh? I write to inform you that my house has found itself at war during such times one see who is truly their friend or wishes to see the fall of my house. Ormond of Ironwood, which I think is like, yeah, right there. Um, I don't really want to piss this guy off. I have 10 gold. Why not? I don't want you to come find me. Uh... Uh, we can't because, you know, for some reason, we can't fight anyone under our lieges. Liege. That's a bummer. The realm's laws. So what is the realm's laws? Feudal paramountcy. Under the feudal government form, a liege gives their vassal lands to govern in exchange for levies and taxes, regulated by individual feudal contracts between vassal and liege. Um, that's so interesting right there. Rulers can change between all available succession laws. Vassals cannot wage war against other vassals unless they use a hook on their liege. Vassals' titles cannot be inherited by characters outside the realm. All vassals who refuse title revocation or vassal retraction are considered criminals. So he can just take from us. Oh, that's a yikes. All right. Um, it's it's going to be interesting then how we move on from this. Because, I mean, look at what we're facing here. Ooh. A lot of broken up territory up here. That's far away from us, but I mean, look at that. If we could get our little hooks in here. Who are they allied with? Sander of Yellow Stars. They're not anything crazy. Um. Yeah, this looks interesting, actually. What is this little area? I don't know it in the lore. Um, got the Stormlands down here. It kind of looks like where... Yeah, the Iron Throne is. What the... Wow, look at it. It looks incredible. Wow. Great work. Um, so it's just a little like independent area around. It's not controlled by the Iron Throne, is it? I don't think it is. I'm scared to go over there. I am. The Dornish Rise, the Dornish Rebellion. Um, why not? Why the freak not? Can we... Do we have to have a Cass's Belly? Of course. I wasted my Cass's Belly on my own. Area. Oh, it's in the Stormlands. No, it's not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's like our only, like... I was outside my keep for only a few moments. A strong gust of wind blew some sand right in my mouth. Are you joking me? 75 prestige because some sand blew in my mouth? It's just honestly rude. So it looks like in this one we might be building tall and not wide. We might be focusing on our home area, trying to get as much, you know. I shouldn't have went with Marshall because we really need to, well, unless this all works out up here. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um... But yeah, we need some money if we want to keep uh, building up our capital. We can't go on raids. Because, you know, of course we can't. It's not like we're making bad money, though. We're making pretty good money. 
and maybe our emperor or our liege will go to war and get some fighting in. Um, help him kind of grow the Dornish territories. Undisciplined recruits. Today I'm observing Lord Michael as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than this. Um, teach him what I know about command. He's increased, gains opinions if he accepts. Um, we also gain 100 martial friendship. Hopefully he accepts. Perfect. Comes a better commander. Beautiful. Betrothed can marry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look how much prestige we got for that. Incredible. Wolf. She's a looker. Give her that. She will act against us. Fate smiles upon me. She already is pregnant. Good. Um, could do some scheming as far as like, um, so like Mace Tyrell could kill him and then all his titles you know the reach is broken up well I, I don't know is it it's a kingdom depends if all his children wanted the you know thing on their own um, murdering him though is going to be too hard I wonder if we make our heir really good at that stuff and then we can get in some Interesting situations where we just scheme and plot our way to the top. Chaos is a ladder. Never back down. I do want to win. Oh no. That is sad. Hereditary rule is what they're going for, huh? What is that? I swear I saw that. Is it back? Yeah, it is. Culture head is fascinated by this interview. Boosting its progress to culture head. So what does it do? An enact partition law. Our titles will be equally between our children. Uh, I don't love that. Right now we're primogenitor. Older child inherits. That is great. We're already that. We can have as many kids as we want. I do love that. We're going to get into some interesting diplomatic uh, phases here. Let's build that. Um, maybe since we're just chilling, we could increase our development in sandstone. How long is that going to take? 21 years. How far does that bring... He was doing 6% extra taxes. I think it's fine. And we're pregnant again. Yeah. Things are going good for us. We're kind of chilling, you know. No one wants to fight Dorn. We're too powerful. We are far too powerful. 
How close is our fabrication? Because I know you have to pay for that. Okay, maybe I'll wait a bit for this to be done before I start another building. Oh, that's right. Well, our Septon is in love with us now. Let's check out our vassals, see if anyone needs to be swayed up. Mm, a couple do. A couple are hating. Player haters. He does not look friendly. House Emerald. One living member. Okay, we got a daughter. Smape her face smiles upon us. Um Idella. Idella Emerald. Um what's a good name? I'm never good at the names, you know. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Um, after an ancestor, a good sand Dornish name. Olivia. I like that. Olivia. Oh, great. Daughter's not getting away. She should be. Oh my gosh, we don't have a court physician. Oh wait, we have a maester. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, we're not having luck with our children. Sadness only. Dun, 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 dun. Warrior sons have been established in Pride, Maine by Lord Tywin Paramount. Lord Tywin the Paramount. What? What am I doing? Okay. So he made a, what are they called? Um, uh, Holy Warriors or something like that. This is all money, I think. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Come on, baby. I don't like to go up to five. I feel like, you know, things go really fast at that, but. All right, see you done. So if we do attack the Bywater up here, are we boned? Who do we go up against? We just go up against him. And I can just sail up there. That's perfect. Also, I can have another holding. So, yes. Um, well, let's go to war. Shall we? Raise all our armies. Um, whoa. Why are we walking here? Yeah, we're boating. We're boating our way up to the top. Our commander. Is he better commander than me? He is not. Now it is risky. Um, where are we? Oh, we're coming. Off the shores into the hordes, men. We named Robin. Well, <laughs> that's pretty simple. No one's coming to his aid. He comes back. Our knight. Oh. We already took Lord Byron. 
So, force our demands. Take our new area. The Bywater Watch. Look at that. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Our control. What do you mean there's no. Okay, now there's a valid target. Get our control going. Um, yes. Yes, three. So this is where we strike. Sandstone comes to the north. Right near the Iron Throne. So I think that's our goal right now. We're going to expand this little peninsula here. Um, Because it's looking prime. Well, okay, someone had the same idea as me and decided to start gobbling up these little ones. So we got to get working on them. Oh, I should have started. Um, I'm going to do that before I forget. Wait, 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 wait. What's in... Is there a duchy here? How do I tell? Damage. By water. The de jure. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, we want to we wanna get this duchy right here. Um, going. Anyways... There you have it. I think I should end the episode here. Things are looking up. Like I said, we're probably going to build mostly tall instead of wide in this campaign. We're definitely going to have some fun with murder schemes. We're going to send our children out, try to get some crazy marriages with the, you know, lords of the realm. Try to get our family spread out there. I don't really have a goal for this series, so we're kind of just going to play it how it is and have fun with it. If you guys have any suggestions of what I should do, where I should go, what you want me to do, what you want to see, let me know in the comments. If you stuck around this long, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, these series are awesome to just play, and I love having a community just have fun with it and talk about it and interact with each other. So if you love this type of stuff, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I want to foster a community here of like-minded individuals where we like playing the same games and we like talking about them and it's friendly. So please, if you enjoy that, like and subscribe. Have a great week, guys. I love you all. Peace.